creamy butternut, 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 I better not mess this up. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Janelle. Welcome back to another episode from Steamy Beauty Kitchen. I have a great new recipe for you guys. It's fall, it's soup season, which is my favorite season, and that's exactly what I have to show you. We are making this very yummy, very easy, vegan and gluten-free butternut basil tomato soup. Butternut basil tomato soup, that's a hard one to say. It's delicious. Super simple, all you need is a handful of very easy, cheap ingredients. It takes like 30 minutes to make or less. And the only special equipment you need is a hand blender, immersion blender, or just a regular high speed blender. It's healthy, packed full of nutrients. It's amazing. The basil gives it this extra punch of flavor. A little bit of balsamic vinegar gives it this wonderful little tang. It's sweet. It is savory. Mmm. I can't stop. You know what my favorite thing to do with soup is? Dip a piece of toast in your soup. Mmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. I hope you guys love this recipe. Give this a try and let me know what you think. Let's get started and make this soup. For this recipe, you'll need one small butternut squash, seven Roma tomatoes, half a cup of fresh basil, one medium onion, four cloves of garlic, one tablespoon of gluten-free soy sauce or tamari, one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, one tablespoon of maple syrup, three cups of veggie broth, a quarter teaspoon of dried thyme, and salt and pepper to taste. To get started, finely mince the garlic and chop your onion and set it aside. Next, prepare the butternut squash. First, peel the outer skin until the bright yellow flesh is revealed. Chop off the top and bottom and carefully slice down the middle lengthwise. Scoop out the seeds, which you can totally keep by the way. Just separate them from the guts, wash and dry them and roast them in the oven with a touch of salt and oil and you have a delicious healthy snack. Wash your Roma tomatoes and cube them into relatively large pieces. No need for them to be totally uniform as they'll cook down pretty easy no matter what. Moving on. Warm up a tablespoon of olive oil in a stock pot on medium high heat and add in the garlic and onion. Stir well and let it saute for three to four minutes until they become slightly translucent. Stir again to prevent burning and add in your tomatoes and butternut squash. Sprinkle in the dried thyme and give everything a good mix, then pour in your three cups of broth. Tip, if your broth is already hot before adding it to the pot, it will slightly decrease your cooking time. Increase the temperature to high and bring the soup to a boil. Once boiling, let the soup simmer on medium-low heat for about 15 minutes or until the butternut squash has become fork tender. In the meantime, why not roast some pumpkin seeds for a delicious crunchy topping? To a small skillet, add half a cup of those bad boys and dry roast them on medium high heat for five minutes, stirring frequently until they're golden brown and fragrant. Also, don't forget to chop your fresh basil and set it aside. Once the squash is cooked, you can add in your seasonings. Add the soy sauce or tamari, balsamic vinegar, fresh chopped basil and maple syrup, plus a few grinds of black pepper and salt to taste. Give it a good stir and turn off the heat. With your immersion blender, carefully blend the soup until it's perfectly smooth with no solids remaining. You could also ladle the mixture into a high-speed blender if you don't have an immersion blender. That's it! Your delicious soup is done and almost ready to enjoy. Top off your bowl with a dollop of plant-based sour cream, some of those roasted pumpkin seeds, and a little drizzle of balsamic vinegar. This seriously completes the masterpiece and adds some extra yummy creamy crunch and tang.
If you're a lover of tomato soup, you will be obsessed with this extra flavorful version of a cozy classic. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. I hope that you go and make this really delicious soup. If you have any questions, please just leave them in a comment down below and I will get back to you. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you never miss out on any of my future videos. Follow me on Instagram at Steamy Vegan Kitchen. I'll see you guys there. Have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I could eat soup all year round and I do eat soup all year round. Better not basil. Better not. Better not basil. Better. <laughs> Let's try that again. Ooh, I'm hot. I'm sweaty. Ugh. Ugh. It's so very hot in here. It's so very hot. How much soup can Janelle eat on camera? Can she get through the whole wall? Maybe.